This is the culmination of everything I know about speaker design. This is a place where abstract design meets acoustic precision. This is Project Twisted Tunes. This project is quite different from any previous speaker project I've done. It was not about experimentation and trying new ideas. It was about combining all the knowledge I currently have into one idea to create an embodiment of my collective speaker knowledge. Starting off with the construction of the speaker, I maintain the 3.75 inch cone as I have the most data from that size. 3D print materials used are nylon, ASA, and TPU. The nylon prints are courtesy of PCBWay, manufactured with MJF and SLS methods for increased strength and reliability compared to FDM. The speaker splits using a threaded midbody for adjusting spider placement and allow for the rapid change of components like previous versions. The speaker is very modular in that most of the parts are designed to be disassembled for replacement. All hardware used is M3 by 8 to make sourcing parts easier as well. Assembly is done in two sections, the lower section consisting of motor and mid-body, and then the top consisting of the suspension, cone, former, and frame. This then screws together to allow adjustment and to complete the speaker. The box and port are two separate pieces that are joined together. Much like version 16, the port is used externally to facilitate a longer port and to create the exact length needed without consuming internal volume of the box needlessly. The suspension of the speaker is designed with control in mind. While sacrificing a bit of cone movement, version 16 lacked control and resulted in rubbing in the magnet gap. The motor on this driver is an underhung design like many of the previous versions, resulting in less movement but superior cone control. The top and bottom plate are CNC pieces of steel with an alignment ring and tabs to ensure proper alignment of the motor. The pole is now also one piece of the bottom plate. There are machined vent holes for the motor as well. The box was designed exclusively for additive manufacture. The motor used contains the same magnets that were present in version 16. It's underhung, meaning the coil wrap is shorter than the top plate. The top and bottom steel was machined by PCBWay, and the nylon aligner was printed by them as well. This motor produces 1.44 tesla meters and uses two ferrite magnets. The box was designed to be horn-like to drive sound waves towards the exit, which connects to the ports. It has an internal volume of approximately 4.6 liters, and the shape was designed with 3D printing in mind. The same can be said for the ports. 3D printing was in mind when designing them. They taper out to reduce velocity and prevent noise starting at one 42mm hole and ending at two 60mm flare ports. This will now lead us into the build montage followed by a speaker analysis. This project's 3D printing was mostly done by the video sponsor, PCBWay. They provided all of the major components for the speaker in MJF and SLS nylon, making this the strongest speaker to date. Not only did they print a lot of the speaker, they also provided the motor steel in the form of two fully CNC machined 1018 steel parts to take advantage of 3D shapes to control the magnetic force in the motor, making this the most advanced speaker motor on my channel yet. I cannot thank them enough for letting me play with these exotic processes. Check them out at PCBWay.com.
Moving into FEM, we can see the predicted magnetic fields for the speaker motor using the curved motor plates. Moving away from laser cut plates and into a 3D space for the motor steel allowed for contours on edges and that reduced the hotspots of the magnetic field. Looking at the DATS graph here shows the motor is progressing in strength. It continues to have the needed bump indicating a decent design. The stiff suspension led to a higher FS than recent drivers. However, that seems to have helped the upper octaves as you'll see in the REW analysis. It produces approximately 75 decibels per watt at one meter, which isn't overly powerful, but it's up there with the best of my speakers. Feel free to pause and see any other specs you're interested in here. Looking into REW now, this driver does lack the punch at lower frequencies, likely due to the st stiffer suspension. It carries the response much farther out, giving much flatter response to a lot of the middle frequencies, making it more suited as a good everything speaker. As the older versions were muddy on some lyrics and highs, this driver allows those notes to come through very clear. We can see compared to version 16, it is louder from 70 hertz and on, meaning this speaker would pair excellently with a supporting subwoofer for a two-way setup. Match that with a DSP to alleviate some of the peaks and valleys and the speaker would make an excellent mid in a system. Feel free to pause here and check out differences among all the frequencies and then we're going to move on to the conclusion. So Project Twisted Tunes has been one of the greatest speaker projects yet. Thanks to PCBWay's support and contribution of the amazing printed parts, this speaker truly performs in the way I set out for. I wanted a speaker with a flat response to pair with a subwoofer that is in the works. I wanted a speaker that would perform from 85 hertz up into the 8 to 10,000 hertz range. And other than falling a touch short on the 10,000 hertz range, it delivered everywhere. I also wanted an aesthetic that could only be possible with 3D printing. The files for this build will go up within a week of launching. It just takes time to link all the URLs, as I don't release files until after the video premieres. So thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks.